I love this game. Let's gush all over the place. Final Fantasy V was originally released in Japan on the Super Famicom in 1992. It didn't reach the shores of America until 1999 on the Sony PlayStation as part of the Final Fantasy Anthology, which was packaged alongside Final Fantasy VI. Later it was refinished and released on the Game Boy Advance. It has yet to receive the same anniversary treatment as its predecessors, but I feel that it's only a matter of time before it gets the respect it deserves. Final Fantasy V may not be the best game in the series, but it deserves more recognition for some of its greatness. Namely, the job system. I know Final Fantasy III did it first, but V took it to a whole nother level. Every job was unique. Each character had their own sprite design for each job class. Each job class had its own set of abilities and took different amounts of experience points to master. And if the player is persistent enough, you can max out all jobs to form the ultimate master class of everything. Truly an awesome feature to the game. For the Let's Play, I played my actual original copy of Final Fantasy V from the PlayStation's Final Fantasy Anthology. I played it on my PS2 and immediately noticed a weird graphical glitch when trying to save the game. From what I've read, this is a common error when trying to play this version of the game on a PS2. It's weird, but it happens. Anywho, I freaking love this game. And it's because I freaking love the job system. So playing it on my channel was an honor and a delight. I tried some voice acting again, but nowhere near the scale of my Final Fantasy 4 and 6 Let's Plays. I basically just played this game as I normally would and enjoyed the hell out of it. Check out the LP if you love Final Fantasy V. Or check out this LP if you've never played Final Fantasy V and never planned to. Give it a chance, it might surprise you. Do it. These Final Fantasy Let's Plays are becoming way too long to try and narrow it down to 10 fun moments or make a montage of all the fun moments. so. As I did with Final Fantasy IV, I will be making a unique top 10 for the game. From Final Fantasy V, here are my top 10 favorite job classes. Who doesn't love the ability to call upon giant beings that can rain terror upon your enemies? Seriously, aside from casting magic directly, summoning in some cases is the equivalent and sometimes superior alternative for magic users. Basically, it's awesome. I personally just don't happen to find this class all that useful in this particular Final Fantasy game. Yet another class I find awesome that I don't particularly find that useful in this game. Their ability to toss money to do damage is pretty usable, but is considered sort of an expensive, cheap means of dealing damage. But samurai are awesome. I want one. One of the classic classes in the Final Fantasy universe, an always needed staple that allows you to be able to steal items from enemies in battle. In this game, the Thief class also makes your walking speed out in the world super fast. And you can see secret walls, extremely useful and awesome. Another of the classic classes in the Final Fantasy universe, and this one is most badass. Punching things with your bare fist is never not satisfying. In this game, the monk also inherently hits twice and counters physical attacks. Since you get this class early in the game, I tend to use it all throughout the game until everyone has mastered it. Three classic jobs in a row, man! 
the White Mage or Healer is the ultimate support character in all RPGs with the ability to recover HP and most status ailments. And at higher levels, the White Mage learns a couple powerful offensive magics that can kick some major ass. Holy sh... This has got to be one of my favorite classes in any Final Fantasy game. I think the issue is that most of the time, the Dragoon class, or character who is designated as a Dragoon type, are usually not that great or useful. In this game, the Dragoon class can have its fun uses, but more practical players will probably choose other classes to use more often. But I just can't help my love for the Lancer class. They just look too badass. Like, if I got to choose a class to be in real life, I choose this one. Provided I get to be the version who rides a dragon, of course. There's only one reason I have the Hunter class this high on the list. X-Attack, or S-Shot as it's called in this version. The single most overpowered and kick-ass move in the entire game is learned by leveling up this job class. X-Attack allows a character to use their physical attack four times in a row. Granted, it's slightly less powerful, but it's four times. And when you can equip it on any class, it's just not even fair, man. Not even fair. If Dragoon is my favorite job in all of the Final Fantasy universe, then Ninja is definitely my second favorite. And this version of Ninja is a good example of why. A ninja can inherently wield two swords, and if leveled up high enough to learn the two weapon ability, that ability can be equipped on any class, making it pretty awesome. Plus, ninjas can throw things, which might seem a bit ex-wifey, but hey, who has more fight in them than an angry ex-wife? A ninja, perhaps? Wow, the knight class. So generic, so simple, so useful. In this game, the knight class is basically a tank. When in a tight spot, pitted against a foe who deals far too much physical attack damage, the knight can survive and keep the fight alive long enough to make a comeback of epic proportions. The knight is loyal, consistent, and brave. He stands tall and nobody tells him otherwise. Aw yeah! Too predictable, but Black Mage is my favorite class in this game. In some games, Black Magic may not be as useful as others, but in Final Fantasy V, Black Magic is essential. And it kicks the major ass. Do I really need to elaborate why Black Magic is so awesome? It's been around since the beginning of the series and has always been one of the most and sometimes the most useful mechanic in the game. Basically, Black Magic is the shit. So, did my gushing about this game give away where this one ranks on my list so far? Surprise, surprise, Final Fantasy V knocks four from the top after only one week on the throne. Sorry, but I love me some jobs. Four may have the better overall story, but five has the better overall mechanics. And jobs. Oh, and did I mention that it has this thing called the chop system? Alright, alright, enough. And with that, we conclude my reviews for Final Fantasy February. You won't be seeing the Final Fantasy VI review for some time, seeing as how I haven't quite finished my Let's Play of it yet. But when that is done, you can expect this list to continue. So I will see you guys then. Peace.